good one. Yeah, this one looks really good. Charles can't can't hold him. Sorry for the shaking to the camera, but You think so? Yeah. He's that far out? No, you're over here. Yeah. Yeah, you're in front of me. Yeah, he's way out there. Chower said he's lost half of his line already. So, this is a be a pretty big fish. Nope. He ain't turned him yet. Oh my gosh. I think he's bigger than the last one. Oh no, he definitely is bigger than the last one. That's not, that, that's another personal best right there. So Run Sales, send me this reel. And uh, we're going to give it a shot today. Hopefully we'll get on some fish. There's Charos. Captain Charos. Oh, Dirty Bay. Yeah, so... It was a funny thing that happened, you know, Charles and I were talking and kind of saying, you know, this looks like a week that we would be to be spent editing, you know, the winds are high, it's rain, cold weather, I mean, a lot of strong winds, and last night, looking at the forecast, like I do a lot, which we're thinking, I noticed, man, we had a window today, I mean, like, no winds, like, several hours before that when we were talking about it it was you know forecast to be strong winds so we're going to take the most of the opportunity um we're at we're kind of at low tide now so we're gonna have an incoming tide and you can kind of see it's real foggy day real it's gonna be a real hazy day um so excuse the moisture on the lens i'm sure i'll get a lot of it today but you know we're back out here again we're gonna be looking for some trout uh maybe scout out a few reds maybe explore a little bit you know so we have some downtime but hopefully this morning will be filled with some nice, nice trout action. But thanks for coming back. We are winter fishing and kayaks again. If you haven't subscribed, please subscribe. Don't forget to check out Charles, Dirty Bay Fishing. Heck of a guide. And uh, we're going we're gonna to get on them. Thanks. I wonder if there was something dead. There we go. Got him? Good. Oh, flounder. Uh, he spit it. That was about a 15. I left my net. Huh? I left my net. Yeah, I thought, I never, he swam up and grabbed it. Damn it. <laughs> it's gonna be an interesting day without a net. I know, right? Oh my gosh, especially with specs. Oh, there we go. Oh, threw it on a fish. Uh, uh, threw it on a fish. Yep, he's here. Nice trout. Oh, he came off as soon as you said it. As soon as you said, don't lose him, he popped off. What a jinx! <laughs> well, quick update. No fish have been caught. Birds are kind of flying around, but they're not really working the area. They're flying through like they've not seen a lot of bait, but I know there's still fish here. I know there's still bait here. We're just gonna keep casting, set up another drift, and then cast and set up another drift, but I think Charles had one bite. And I had a couple small ones, but nothing to 
latch on so we'll just we'll keep fishing keep fishing keep casting the tide should have started turning around already so we should start having incoming tides start coming back in so what that does a lot of times that does trigger a bite so hopefully this incoming tide will change things up and get the fish active and get them feeding but they're here I know they are Alright, here we go. We got some little birdies. See if we can find out if there's any fish here. Or just bait. They were here working a minute ago and a lot of ducks moved in. And then the seagulls ran off. There's a fish, I think. There we go. We got one. Oh, that's a nice trout. Yep, fish on. Uh. Uh. No net, so it's gonna be a tough day for me. No net, but this guy, he whacked it. Golly, he's a nice guy. Uh, see him? Oh, yeah. Nice guy. He, uh, he has that Inger bait voodoo shad down his throat, which made it very easy for me to get him on deck. So I'm going to see where he's at. I don't want to get him off. 19 and a half. Nice fish. 19 and a half with the pinch tail. Golly! That took forever. That took forever. I finally had to put a spoon on and I uh, don't have my net so I was real scared about landing him. But he uh, he's throwing up all kind of stuff on me. Alright bud. Pooping I think. Yeah that's poop. You got poop all over you buddy. We're gonna he hammered it too. Yeah, he pooped all over the place. Come on, get off. Let's see where he's at. He's gonna be. He's still. He's still very green. Eighteen and three quarters. Eighteen and three quarters. This is a nice one. As soon as I put the spoon on. Oh, really? Yeah. Spoon? Spoon. Man, I, uh... I That's a nice it was guy. Like 3 o'clock. It, it was barely 10 o'clock. Yeah, I know. I saw that, too, a minute ago. It's like 11 now, but... I was like, man, it's late. Uh, 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 I saw something bowl up over here. 
Looks like a red. Uh, uh, a nice test for this reel. Oh yeah, that's a nice red. Uh. Undersized guy. See if we can get him lift. Uh. There we go. Ah, uh, seen a boil, so I cast on it. I've seen a boil right here, so I cast on it. And uh think camera wouldn't cut on so yeah, missed some of that he's gonna be undersized I think he's gonna be about 17 18 no he is he is just at 20 he just touched 20 yeah look at that that doesn't get any closer get any closer to being 20 Mega right there and that's about the, the best fight so far for this guy right here the Runco Runco it ain't gonna fit in the net we're gonna try let's put his head in come on guys just a tip Oh my gosh. I think he's bigger than the last one. Oh no, he definitely is bigger than the last one. That's not, that, that's another personal best right there. <laughs> I'm gonna need your board. Okay. <laughs> let, me, let me get him off real quick. Uh, ah. Yeah, that's... Oh, he sure is. Another freaking 37. Okay, we're right here. Where are we going to lock it off at? Right there? Yeah. Right there. This is it. Okay. Got him right there. This is, a, this is a three and a half inch lure. Eight, 38. 38 inches. Three and a, uh, 38 and a half. 38 and a half. 38 and a half inch. So wow. I've got three and a half inch lure right there. Time to safely release this guy while I got 2% of battery left. All right, let me hold it up. Thanks for watching, but this doesn't have to be it. This doesn't have to be the end of it. You can watch more Texas all water fishing at the end of this video, which we're close to. YouTube will suggest a video from my library, Texas all water fishing, and you can keep it going. Keep all the fish loving videos going and click on to the next one. If you haven't subscribed, there's also a place where you can subscribe at the end card as well. But I had a really good time. I was out there fishing with this new Runco Heroism. And yes, uh, video is out for my first initial review. So check that out. And also I will be doing a giveaway later after I fish with this reel just a little bit. I was really pleased with it. Um, this is a budget friendly reel, comes in under $60. I also have a promo discount code as well in the description section. You can click on the link and you can use a discount code. And I, I don't get anything for it. I, I don't, I got a, a reel to use and I'm gonna give away to you one of you guys um, I have a 15% discount code and that's 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 for my viewers and subscribers if you if you want to but I don't get any proceeds from this um, they asked me if I want to do uh, if I wanted a reel and if I wanted to check out and and do a video on it and I did that I did the video already but I'm still really digging this reel and I figured I'll give it to one of you guys so anyway thanks for watching subscribe like comment share I really appreciate each and every one of you.
description section you can find Charles's information if you want to fish with him. You can find his link to his videos in case you want to see how he caught those two great reds. And you can also click link on click on the link for this Runco reel and go over there and save 50%. But until next time, hopefully you catch me. Hook it up.